glowing secret down there. Let's go and touch it. Sam, are you okay? What do they want with me, Laura? A fire ritual? This is so fucked up. Listen, I'm coming to get you. I'm going to get you out of there. Please, please help me, Laura. I promise. I promise, Sam. Hey! Oh no! Sam! Oh. Sam! Oh. Help me, Sam! Please, Sam! You to rescue Lara's best friend. I'm glad that they did this, did um, that in this Tomb Raider because I don't remember being like that in the other Tomb Raiders. I only played parts of the first one. I want for nothing now. As a priestess of the Sun Queen, I stand above all others in her court. I'm being instructed in languages, etiquette, history, warfare, all the skills needed to rule. And the queen has been like a mother to me. Warm, attentive, loving. But it all feels false, like some kind of performance. When I talk to the other priestesses, I sense disquiet. Some of them feel as I do, perhaps all of them. But why? What is it that we all fear? Played first um, parts of the first Tomb Raider in about 97, 98, something like that. Oops, sorry about that. My water bottle just hit the microphone. <laughs> but the thing about Lara is, I could, I could never seem to get get attached to her as a character. She always seemed really hardened. Not really. I didn't really find her that likable. And it just didn't seem like she cared about anybody else except herself. And she didn't really have any characters, you know, other than herself to care about. Which is what I think makes a character stronger when they actually care about others. And, you know, have friends around them and things like that. So when Lara didn't have anything like that, it kind of made, kind of made me think, well, why doesn't she have anyone around her? What kind of person is she if she doesn't have, you know, people that she can rely on kind of thing. But I'm glad that um, Rihanna Pratchett is the, the lady that's worked on this. And I'm glad that Rihanna Pratchett has given Lara characters that she can, you know, care about and look up to and, you know, in this game, care about them enough to want to rescue them so that's that's a good thing in the plot line as far as I'm concerned so let's go and rescue Sam because in my opinion she's worth rescuing oh what the hell was that I don't know that boys was your worst nightmare keep working I'll go check it out whoa hey there the tank's full don't, don't let it bleed out, man. That stuff is gold. <laughs> 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 
downed. How did he get back up? Kill me again. See those those men that landed here? I didn't even get a chance to bloody loot them. Cause for some reason when I die, they they disappear. Without a bloody trace, what the fuck is that? It's like, here, you don't need to loot these enemies, we'll just take them away. No way around. I've got to cross. Fucking hell. Jesus. Now I know why this game is an 18. Fucking hell. <laughs> wow. We want to kill you in the most brutal way. I'm supposed to be going. I'm just, you know, trying to navigate the best I can without hitting these trees. I know I'm going to hit one in a minute. Oh, and I didn't hit one. That's a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> 